Okay, short one, very short one. Accidentally came across this um, setup, shall we say. Uh, it's the Ferrari 355 Challenge. Uh, funnily enough, I first kind of stumbled onto these on the Dreamcast. And yes, I did have a wheel for the Dreamcast. And these have got the paint, same paint schemes as well. But less about that, more about the car. First of all, it's got a proper gated shifter. And you have to take that into account by taking your time with the gear changes. Mid engined, about 375 brake horsepower. And the handling on these is just fantastic. Really do have to know what you're doing with them, or else they will just kill you. So catch the mud, drop it to third, lift off over steer. <laughs> it's got it all. So you've got this kind of lift off over steer going on, pendulum effect with the weight in the back from the engine that you've got to take care of. You've also got the problem that as you hit the accelerator you're going to get on the steer. So you've got to be really gradual on that accelerator coming out the bends whereas you're never going to make the exit and you've got to be careful going into the bends otherwise you're going to lose the back end like that so you're constantly just dancing around balancing the car and it's just such a joy to do in here because you're getting so much feedback AI set at 100 here and the AI is absolutely reveling in them as well. So we're blipping on every downshift. We do get a little bit of oversteer, we're just kind of controlling it, not trying to get it back quick. I'll, I'll put any erratic handle in him. Car models are great. I love the, uh, the fact that they've put the same pink paint schemes in as the Dreamcast version. I don't know if that's come from Project Cars 2 or whether somebody's been uh, having a bit of rose tinted glasses moment. So we get all shapes going through there. Again, taking our time with the gear shift, otherwise, it just will not go in. And you're getting absolutely tons of feedback. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Cheapers. Absolutely tons of feedback from false feedback of what's going on. She's so doing this acrobatic act. There goes the back again. Got to get it back quick. I'm trying to race. Yeah, if you want to kind of get the back in check, you have to give it some gas, but then realising that you're going to get the front end going in with the understeer by doing that. And all the meantime, trying to get it round the corner. So we're lifting slightly here, but not totally, otherwise the back will step out. So as we come down here, we're going to drop to third. And I'm just going to trail break all the way around until they get on the power. But I've turned in enough to compensate for that on the steer. Really going light over the jumps here. Up to fifth. Again, slow gear change. Down to fourth. Just letting it roll. Back end start to step. Just gather that up. It's expected, so... Okay, we're 
gradually bringing the power on there to control the understeer. Little jab of the brakes, straight through back on the power, give me a bit of uh, traction. Braking down to third with a blip, back on the power, lifting off the power a little bit, just get a bit more turn on the front end. This is absolute nightmare here. Lost it on the brakes, got it back quick. Drop to second. All the cars getting caught up with each other. Again, slow gear changes. Don't know what I'm doing, down to fourth on braking. Big jump, cars get all sorts of shapes, including the AI. Blip down to third. And we're using quarter to half throttle there, just controlling it over the bumps. Back down to third from fourth, car on the inside. Back steps out, right on the edge there. And onto the final lap. It is, um, yeah, akin to playing chess driving this thing. Fourth. There was a door open. I could see him jerking across trying to close it. Let's try and get around this guy. Whoa. Third. No, it's closing it again on me. That's a third. Tightens up at the end. To fourth. Quarter throttle. Oh, there we go. He's got the inside line. Down to second. Roll it in here. Roll it in. There's nowhere to. Uh, yeah, it's adverse camber across the, between the two right handers and then that little lump. A little tiny lift there. Just kept quarter throttle on. Still looking for a way around. Up the inside, trying on the braking. I'm on the limiter. Third. Got a bit crossed up coming on the brakes then, had to back out. To fifth. Whoa, front just goes massively light over there. And braking, flip down to fourth. Gets about half throttle on there, just to keep the back end in check. And then second this time. We get a bit of a yeah. I would skip the pavement there. Yeah, my fault. Get shut down again. Cannot. Cannot. <laughs> Recommend having a go at this. Cars on the car mod cars on the mod track. Down into the swimming pool. Down to fourth. Don't want the car going too light. Big blip down to third. Last little section here. Up to fourth. Blip down to third again. No. <laughs> Just didn't have the grip. Since I saw the accelerator, that was it. On the steer city, I was not going to keep that line. Again, slow shifting. But yeah, even the paint schemes are from uh, are from uh, the Dreamcast version. It's fantastic. Yeah, just a short one, that one. I hope you enjoy. Go and have a go at that. Okay, adios.